Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video or if you're new here, welcome! I'm Charlotte, thank you so much for stopping by. Please feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be testing out the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. So these retail for £25 on Boots, they come in 25 flexible shades, um, they claim to be buildable light to medium coverage, hydrating diffused effect, um, and it says, oh, test this, it's humidity, sweat and transfer resistant. So a little bit about my skin, as you can see, I've got a few spots around here. I have combination skin. I tend to get quite oily in my T-zone and on my chin and around my nose. But at the same time, <laughs> I get quite flaky around there too. So it's like oily when I get dry flaky patches and my skin's also very sensitive. But yeah, very awkward skin. So I think we should just get into it. So I'll go for my usual primers. So I use the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart, yeah, Unicorn Heart uh, Serum. So I put that around my face. I saw this and I thought, oh, it's a bit of me. I don't always like loads of makeup, especially when my skin's doing okay. But at the moment, <laughs> I'm eating too much chocolate indulge a bit over Easter so my skin's kind of paying me back for it and then this is the Fenty Beauty True Matte Primer I'm just going to put this in the centre of my face still undecided about this primer I don't know if it actually does anything <laughs> but my skin definitely feels smoother I'm not sure about keeping my oils in control but I thought as it's Fenty Beauty I'll do the primer with it because they should should go together if they're from the same brand so I've got my shade in the lightest possible shade because I'm extremely fair <laughs> so I'm like shades Nars, Siberia Mont Blanc a bit if, I've got, if I'm tanned Mont Blanc's when I'm tanned um NC10 and MAC. See, it's quite liquidy, quite runny. Let's put a little bit there. So it says you can apply it with your hands or with a brush. I tend to just always apply my foundation if I'm wearing it with a brush. So I've just done a little squeeze. Work it into the back of my hand. Squeeze. Because if I can find something that's lightweight, sheer coverage then I can just spot conceal but it blurs over my skin that sounds perfect to me that's exactly what I want definitely but saying that it's 25 pounds 25 pounds for something like just a tinted moisturizer we could probably get something similar from the dog store <laughs> into the skin quite nicely but it is very sheer so that's to be expected can you see difference I can see a slight slight difference between this side of the face and the other one barely bit noticeable It doesn't feel like I actually have anything on my skin. Sorry, I keep looking in my mirror. I don't know how long this would last. It'll be my third squeeze just to do the other side of my face. Just quickly zoom through the next side and I'll be back to have a better look. Hi, so I'm back. I've put all my base makeup on. Very simple because I haven't got anything planned today and I was going to do a bit more to my eyes but my hay fever is just, it's not playing today. So, um, I put cream bronzer on and I put cream blush on. 
and it doesn't look like anything has lifted lifted the product underneath I mean it is already bunching around my nose but that's because I was probably because I've got dry skin but it was a moisturiser I don't know if that should be happening my eyes always crease especially when they're puffy because of my hay fever so it's nothing it does look to me a little bit makeup y around here but like I said my skin feels smooth it looks it does look blurred and it does look healthy I like my skin to look like skin and to look healthy and I feel like it does look very it's got the natural glow I've got a bit of highlighter on but I mean it's gonna look natural so tinted moisturizer so yeah I will go have a look in full natural light and film it by the window even though it's not the nicest day, it's gone a bit overcast now. It was bright blue skies earlier, now it's a bit, a bit down. So, I put this on about half two. So I've been on for about an hour. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you later on. Okay, bye. So I've just gone to the window, the natural light. And it just looks like skin, it's like. I would say, I don't know if you can see, it is sunk into my pores a bit around here. When I look in the mirror, I can see, I can see that. Hi, so I'm back. So I just thought I would swatch the colour of the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops against some of my other foundations, just so if you're looking at it, you could see what, in your similar shade to me, you could see what foundation would suit you. So I've got the Concealing Globe by Revolution in F0.3. Urban Decay Stay Naked. 11 nn then next to this one here it is the l'oreal 24 infallible matte cover and mine is in the shade 90 porcelain rose next is the nars soft matte found it complete foundation and this is in siberia after that i have nars sheer glow in mont blanc and lastly i have mac studio fix in what's it Sorry, Max Studio Fix in NC10. So if you can see them all there. So I'd say the closest one is the shade is the Stay Naked, the 11NN. I feel like that's the closest looking one. My best matches like on my face are these two, more yellow toned. But I think the Fenty one has blended pretty well into my skin. But it is a tinted moisturiser and it should be flexible to many shades. So hi, it's um it's about four o'clock because I've had this on my face for five and a half hours now. Um like it's still got a bit of glow, but I feel like my skin's looking really dry around these areas and up here. And I usually don't have that issue. I mean I do have dry flakes at the moment. But for a tinted moisturiser, it's making my skin look awfully dry when it's a moisturising product, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, I don't think it's bad. From far away, you can't tell. This is just me really looking into my face. Like I would still probably wear this out. But at the same time, if I was wearing this, I might as well just go out with that on my face and just put concealer on. So yeah, I want to try, I'll try to keep it on as long as possible. But I've got be at work for half five in the morning and it means I need to go to bed very early because I require a lot of sleep so I'll try to get another couple hours out of it. Okay, see you then. Okay, so I'm back with my final check-in. It is now seven o'clock. I've had this on since about half ten, so that's eight and a half hours. And you can definitely see that my oils are starting to come through. I feel like it's broken up quite a bit on my cheeks now where it's been sinking into my pores. I find it very strange that it's emphasised the actual dryness on my skin. Because I don't usually have that much dryness but it's really, really made it stick out. I'll keep using it because I've got it now. But I feel like you can get better results with Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation. You get better coverage, better long longevity and it doesn't break down and sink into my skin like this and that is £10 and this was on sale when I got it but it's £25. 
I just thought I'd pop in a little video so you could see close up what's happening around my cheeks and my forehead where it's starting to wear away and go a bit blotchy. Yeah, that's that's it really. Don't know what else to say. Uh, I don't think I'd spend my money again on this. Yeah, that's all. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day or whatever you're doing. Um, hope to see you again next time. My Instagram is at Lottie and Squad Loves with two S's. Please subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you again. Bye!